So if you're looking for the ultimate family hauler that can actually haul ass, Dodge may have the vehicle just for you. I'm at the 2017 Chicago Auto Show and this is the 2018 Dodge Durango SRT. Let's take a first look. So even though the current Durango debuted back in 2011, the company has done a pretty good job with keeping this vehicle fresh with updates uh, throughout the years. Now, 2018 is a pretty big year for the Durango. This is the first time the Dodge is offering a performance version of the Durango. This is the Durango SRT. Now, if you guys are familiar with the Grand Cherokee SRT, uh, this basically has the same engine. The two vehicles ride on the same platform. This is just bigger. It has a third row. Now, underneath the hood, you're going to find the company's 6.4 liter Hemi V8, the biggest engine uh, they're offering in the Durango. It makes the same 470. 75 horsepower as the Grand Cherokee uh, and 475 pound-feet of torque. It goes through a all-wheel drive system, which is more performance-tuned uh, through an eight-speed automatic transmission. Now, going with the overall design here, you can see uh, Dodge made some pretty nice updates to give this car a more aggressive look. Of course, you get its own unique front end, uh, its mesh grille, uh, these darkened headlights, uh, a lower front fascia. And overall, I think it looks menacing. It looks aggressive. And really, this is one of the least expensive three-row performance SUVs that you can buy. Uh, so those of you who are looking for something like this, Dodge Dodge basically has your number. Now, if you want to follow me over to the side here, now looking at the wheels, these are the 20-inch wheels that are standard on the uh, Durango SRT. Dodge will actually offer you two different Pirelli tires, uh, either a summer tire like this one or an all-season. Uh, and you can see the brakes, they're also upgraded. These are massive 15-inch rotors, or uh, rotors clamped down by six-piston Brembo calipers. So, of course, Dodge is giving you the stopping power that you need uh, to actually bring this performance SUV to a halt. Now, the overall silhouette of the Durango looks like a traditional SUV. It is a lot larger than a Grand Cherokee. This vehicle stretches about almost 200 inches long, so it is bigger than vehicles like a Pilot and like a Highlander, roughly about six inches bigger. Now, coming around the rear, um, Dodge has updated the rear end slightly. You have slightly updated taillights, more of a darkened finish. I really like the fact how the taillights kind of wrap around the entire length of the tailgate. And of course, underneath the bumper here, Dodge upgraded the exhaust. The company is basically calling this uh, their you know, SUV version of the Charger, a seven-seater Charger. Now, the exhaust is supposed to sound just like a Charger SRT8. You have huge four-inch oval exhaust tips, so uh, this vehicle definitely will have a nice mean sound to go uh, with the aggressive performance that you get with that V8. On the inside of the 2018 Durango SRT, you can see the company has given the inside a nice upgrade to go with more of that performance uh, theme. I really like the SRT-specific steering wheel with the flat bottom, the really fat uh, rim. I mean, it has really nice 9 and 3 grips, so you have paddle shifters. On the dashboard, you have upgraded materials. You have nice stitching throughout the dash, this new carbon fiber trim, and I really love the red leather in here. It just gives this uh, interior a much sportier, a much more you know aggressive feel, going with the overall theme that you get with the Durango SRT. Now, when this vehicle goes on sale in the fall of this year, um, Dodge hasn't announced any pricing yet, but if you look at the pricing of a Grand Cherokee SRT, it starts at just under 67,000. So I imagine this car will start at under 70, which it sounds like a lot of money. Uh, however, if you're gonna look at this car's competitors, its closest competitor is probably a Mercedes GLS 63 AMG, and that starts at just under 130 grand. So if you look at it, it's kind of a bargain, honestly, because Dodge says this car will get to 60 in 4.4 seconds, and it will basically do a four-wheel drift, if you guys have seen uh, the company's commercial when they first introduced this thing. But uh, for Redline Reviews at the 2017 Chicago Auto Show, I'm Sophie Day.